Hi everybody, welcome to BI Land. We are going to see how to integrate a parameter in a query for getting data from an Oracle database. There will be two parameters, one that is a result of another Oracle query, another one, a parameter defined simply in Power Query. This type of skills and manipulations is extremely needed when you are a serious data analyst in a big structure. So let's start. I'm going to have two main tables. One is sales table and the other one is transaction table. I need to retrieve the maximum date from sales table and use it in the query of the transaction table to get the transaction that are before that date until a specific number of months and this dynamically. Let's do this from scratch. Here I have almost nothing in my report, just a simple measure table. I'm going to go to the query window Different folders that I have here are only nice to have for better organization, especially when your report is getting bigger. I'm going to first bring the maximum date from sales table that I will need to use as the parameter for the transaction table. As you can guess, the transaction table can be extremely large and you'll need to apply methods to get only the part that is needed from the beginning. Here for simplicity, I'm just duplicating this table I'm going to bring it here. Let's just erase all of this. Sales table is in my Oracle database, therefore oracle.database. Here you put your connection chain or the defined name in the TNS. Let's put this optional hierarchical navigation true. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the schema. Your schema name. And from there, you go to the table. Let's call it F sales. From a schema, you get the table. This is the name of your table in the database. Okay. Now I load the preview from this. Okay, now we have the table. Let's call this date max. We want the maximum date from this column. Let's change the type from date time to date. Step is added. Let's go to the advanced query. To get the maximum of the column, let's just add a step here. Let's call it filtered. It is simply selecting a row, the one that is the maximum. Therefore, select rows. The input is the previous step. Therefore, just copy this and paste it here. Use let to introduce latest as max. List max. You want to get the maximum of the column date and then use it to filter the same column, the logic of a variable. Basically, it iterates on the column and keeps the rows that are equal to the maximum value. The name of column in square brackets. Then for each value, so in each column name is equal to the latest. Okay. In summary here, we get the maximum of the column and filter that column with the maximum. Then I select that row. Therefore, I will only have the maximum. Now let's bring the table after this step. Okay. 
I only have one date. If I go to the previous step, I had different dates. Now only one date. I will only need to remove the duplicates. For that, I'm just going to right click on the column and then remove duplicates. I'm going to also make it again date and time as it was. Okay. Here's our M query. To be able to put this in the other query, I'm going to transform this date into a list. For that, let's just duplicate this table. Erase everything. Use list first because I only want the first value of the column. Then put the table and the column name. Okay, now I have my dynamic parameter. Let's call this param date max. Okay. The second parameter is a simpler one, a parameter that there will be no need to change so often or automatically. So in home tab, new parameter, let's call it month, decimal or whole number, any value, let's put current value 18, you can change it 24, etc. I'm going to bring it here. Okay. Now the main table for that, we want to use these parameters. For simplicity, I'm going to again duplicate this table. Bring it into the data section. Okay. Advanced query. I'm keeping the information for the database section because it is coming from the same place. Let's call it if transact. Put the table name. Okay. And now filter the table using the parameters. Therefore, for the filter, select rows because I want a set of rows. My table name. for each date, therefore column of date. I want it to be bigger than or equal to the 18 month before the maximum date from sales table, therefore date at month, maximum date here minus the number of month. It's like getting the maximum date and going back 18 months. Now load the filtered. Okay, done, load. Now you have the table. These are two parameters, one from another table from the Oracle database and the other one defined in the Power Query. Let's call it if transact. Let's close and apply. Everything looks good. Now we have our tables. Let's go back to the query window. Okay, to summarize what we have done here, we brought a date that interests us from a table in Oracle database. Then from that, we made a dynamic parameter for our main table. We also defined the depth of history in terms of number of months. Finally, we put them in our main table. Here my date is January 2025. And in my main table, the partitions are those before or equal to January 2025 for the partitions that exist in the database, of course. 
If I put 3 here, it will be accordingly. Ok, that's all for this time. Subscribe to my channel, I will have other videos on different scenarios. Thank you, take care and see you soon. Bye bye.